Okwama killings, maybe he did not take part, but he won't tell us he has no knowledge of what's going on in the village, Chief of Defense Staff says. Can you imagine? So Christopher Musa is still looking for a way to rope in the traditional ruler of Okwama that they have taken away. And they are trying to exonerate him. We understand that uh, Femi Falano, the human rights lawyer, has actually written the Nigerian army uh, requesting access to the traditional ruler. And that, that will be a very good welcome development because somebody will have to speak for this man. His people have suffered a lot of injustice. i tell you the truth. So now the chief of defense staff is trying to defend their action and try to defend the um uh you know their accusations leveled against the man is the man that brought himself to the to the you know to you okay <clears throat> the chief of defense staff lieutenant general christopher musa has said that the ova of ewu kingdom his royal majesty clement Owenerukewe ikolo urukbe one is safe in their custody and that nothing will happen to him better so it should be recalled that following the killing of the 17 soldiers in okwama community in really start local government area of delta state on march 14 the nigerian army had declared the eight persons wanted in connection with the murder the delta monarch was among the eight suspects that the military declared wanted so king ikulo had submitted himself to the police for questioning but the police had handed him over to the army so the development has sparked mixed reactions from members of the public, with some saying that the Nigerian army does not have the constitutional right to conduct investigation into the issue. Speaking during an interview with Arise TV on Wednesday, Lieutenant General Musa said that King Ikulu may not have taken part in the killing directly, but that he cannot say that he has no knowledge of what is happening. The security chief said that... Um, King Ikolo is in their custody for questioning, adding that investigations will reveal a lot of things. He said the chief is secured, he is safe, nothing is going to happen to him. It is just a few questioning and then we will be able to clarify. But you know, I don't want to comment so much, but nobody will tell you he doesn't know what's happening. Maybe he didn't take part directly, but he will not tell us he doesn't know uh, or have knowledge of or the understanding of what's going on in the land but like we said the investigation will unravel most of these things and then actions will be taken what kind of action do you want to take hmm? what kind of action do you want to take so the thing here is that they are trying to still rope the man into what is happening they are saying that he may not have participated in the killing directly but he cannot deny knowledge of what is happening as it has general ruler, obviously he will know a few things but the question is if he says what he know will they accept it or are they going to compel him to say some other things because at the end the way it is going i just hope that they will not coerce him to accept some allegations because that is what nigerian security people do sometimes they can put uh, force him to accept that he knew about the planning okay and by the time he agreed to certain things they would then rope him for being an accomplice for not reporting it to the security agencies that this is what is going on i'm telling you so i just hope that they will not you know coerce him to accept some allegations that he does not intend to accept okay and i think he's old enough to accept what is right and deny what is wrong I'm telling you because there are several things that have happened in that community and a lot has been revealed by people, but the military still claim they want to do investigation. And that is what we're saying. If you know you have intelligence enough to do this investigation, why did you go there for reading? Killing of innocent people, women and children, and burning their houses and grading everywhere, leveling everywhere. I'm sure if they go there, they will see mass grief in that town because they blocked everybody including the governor of the state from entering that community for them to clean up their mess that is it so this the way the military does things in nigeria i tell you it makes me i, I don't know it cannot happen anywhere <coughs> that was ethnically said that was a genocide that was done there and nobody is questioning what the military went there to do they're saying they went there for peacekeeping which time has military started doing peacekeeping in country in in in, in the local communities 
Yeah? He went there. And some people have come out, especially uh, one faceless, one guy that brought him, his face out to certainly what happened. There was bunkery money. Eh? And why will people like Tompolo not be questioned in this matter? Because from what that guy said in his video, he said that Tompolo will know about it because he was sharing the proceeds of bunkering that caused this wahala. And nobody is talking about when they came the first day and collected some people and those people were massacred and they came second time, they managed to collect the chief of the community. So who would allow that? Eh? And nobody wants to hear the story of those people that are saying it the way it is, but now they want to question the traditional ruler. Where he has submitted himself for questioning, and I just hope they do it decently. That is it. Now, uh, people are already making their comment. As I said, but the Nigerian army should have allowed the Nigerian police to take over the investigation of the case. The Nigerian army, as it were, is a complainant and they can be and they can't be the judge in this case, okay? Uh, they can't be the judge. In the same case, there will be element of bias. Killing our soldiers is unacceptable, yes, but we must not jettison the rule of law because it is what is keeping society together. Else, it will be the case of survival of the fittest where disorganization and lawlessness will reign supreme. And that makes sense. That statement makes sense. Good school of thoughts. As always, are you a dump? There are other things. What are other things? You have missed it already, Mr. Uh, Alakoe. Hmm. Our weapon is with the criminals, so we have to get the weapons back. Eh. What about the ones with Boko Haram, the Iswap, and the bandits in the north? How many have you recovered? That's the question. How many have you recovered? Hmm. Nigeria, when the soldiers went for peacekeeping according to you people's report did the soldiers report and present themselves to the chief as people who have been sent for peace this they recognize him um in that did they recognize him in that capacity now something bad happened and you now know there is a king there that knows better and should give account just because he doesn't have anybody god in the heaven is seen seeing everybody hey. uh some say what kind of statement is that that the king will have the knowledge that the soldiers visiting the village will be attacked and killed that statement is not looking very correct hmm. whether you believe it or not unless we start laying our foundation or rightly through our electoral process it's made right nigeria is going nowhere our system is just not working we might pretend, but the reality is very glaring that things are not adding up. I have traveled to a few countries and I can tell you that Nigeria is a lawless entity. Not be lying. The laws are there, but with loopholes and with not even well implemented. The king might be innocent as the CDS is not aware of his men coming to Okwama to arrest the community chairman and even killed some persons on their way of escape. Not be lying. How many emirs in the north have you arrested to explain the role in the collateral damages caused by terrorists in their in their domain? Not be like it has never happened. They have never arrested any any traditional ruler in the north for what Boko Haram and Swap guys are doing. I believe that if your brother kill like this, you will not use your can you imagine. But that is the truth now. The same way you are chasing the people that kill the soldiers in the Okwama, is the same energy you needed to chase the people that are killing soldiers in the north, the terrorists, the ASWAP, the bandits, and all of the all of the Boko Harams in the north. Okay? And all the traditional rulers in the north that are harboring these people, you should have arrested them. You have not done that. Eh? So quite unfortunate. And uh, somebody asking here, with the consent rear rank with open order match exactly so why will the whole colonel be involved in that match that ordinary uh, foot soldiers are supposed to be he should give the order and go back mm -hmm. ah now wow it's quite unfortunate because the hmm, nigeria army with many assumptions until now they are still insinuating all this supporting the use of force to get to the root of the matter okay i think up to this moment, no concrete explanation has been gotten to unravel what happened. 
you don't want to use the police SS and up to now nobody is allowed to enter the community not even the governor commissioner of police etc you want to do it your way or oh, yeah go ahead oh. not be lie yeah is the brigade commander aware of them going to kwama those are the things did you inform him of your movement to this kingdom i beg free him you did not inform him that you were coming and you just came there say you're doing peacekeeping the armies have the armies have done dirty job and those armies that were killed they went there for illegal activity illegal operation and now something bad has happened to them and they're chasing the community up and down this is a very bad one they should release the man so thank you for listening and let's have a comment